Good morning. You know what time it is, but I was <laughs> literally looking to the left. Hold up. I need to make my bed. One second. I'll speak. I'm still have Ready. Ready. Okay. Welcome to the pre-market analysis of EU. Is it EU? Oh, we're on GU. Well, let's start with GU then. Um, let's just break it down because I have to look where we are. Okay, so we came above that high. That's good. We can clean this up. Um, that's really good. We go to the weekly. Took a huge liquidity pull. Okay, we took previous weekly highs. We took previous daily highs. Um, oops, not that one. I wanna get that one out of the way. We took previous daily highs, and we can see how we close on the daily. So we can um anticipate on price not coming up to take the daily high. That was clearly the low. Um, how can we do that? So that we can put that one to the upside. It will be like a chart cleaning slash analysis session, which is part of my pre-marked analysis anyway. So <clears throat> just deal with it. All right. Also did a run this morning, which is great. Um, on one day, yeah, this, oh, no, this one. So this is the previous weekly high. Yeah, oh, and we can see now. See, we have a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high. Then we got a bearish break. And we never returned to discount, so that's good. Well, that's not good. It would have been easier if we just stayed up there. And you can see we have Asia highs here. We have Asia low here. Um, and we got this range for now. We are working with. Uh, do we have long areas? Yes, we have long areas as well. We have long areas over here. Uh, uh, previous daily low has really been taken. Finally, it's working fast because I don't have many screens open now. And if we now zoom out, or sorry, zoom in, we can see that I prefer this area to short from. Get this huge cluster of candles here. And we never, oh, we did tap into that, but just about. We can maybe close this as liquidity. We also have this area, but then if shorting from here, there's not much internal range of liquidity. So we have this by the 50 minute supply. Um not much liquidity below. But essentially this is the uh, how do you call it? Positional area. I'm yawning when I'm not tired. Though I may need a coffee <laughs> to wake up. But I'm not tired. Um yeah, so not much liquidity below. And we get this as our internal rate liquidity. You can always see, uh, I'm always looking for cases to build up sales. Why? Because, yeah, we are always above old highs. We're never above below old lows. So, yeah. And if I want to practice bias, I can just practice on DXY, I guess, because that's the opposite of all this. Yeah. It's clean as well. I'm happy with that. We got this spell to buy move, sweeping out this liquidity. Although I don't think we will come higher, but 
this is a high probability area for me. Um, I'm just going to mark out my, I'm just doing this, like, how do you say it? This is just standard thingy. I don't need to give comments on this. I'm just marking out my uh, high probability area. So we got this bearish range. We got this bullish range. If we zoom out to the one hour, we can check that out real quick. We got low, high, or, or, uh, low, low, high, higher, low, higher, high, or this high, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, bearish break, bullish break sweep essentially continuation up now we did take a lot of liquidity to the upside therefore i am willing to look for sales even knowing that we are inside the discount of this bullish range why because i'm kind of expecting this low to be taken and to for price to come down deeper into that discount if we come deeper into the discount we have liquidity sitting here so we're looking for bias below that low um yeah you see it's a nice trend line here. So essentially below that low, and we've got this area here. We've got liquidity below above this one, and we get that sweep over here. So this also seems quite valid. Um, but for now, I'm looking for price to come into these areas over here. We got a 50 minute POI over here. So I'll get a 50 minute POI. Um, actually, we got a minute for very good. Let's use that and then because I already look for cells for very good. And then we know that we below that we the we below that our sits the uh. PY. Then we got this. This is our 15 minute demand. So I pull my nose. This is what we're working with. So sells from up here inside the premium, because this is not like our entry where we use the buy to sell move. We really want to see premium pricing before we sell off. Um, yeah, yeah, it all that makes sense. Like when you enter trade, you just want to be in the trade, so it doesn't matter if you enter from below the premium or below the 50% because price might not come there and then move away impulsively, like over here. You get an entry here without really getting like a and just quickly look at it. I didn't do a recap yesterday on GU. But yeah, let's say this one didn't reach discount. Now this is a clean entry almost break here entry. Then you can uh still be in the trade your price can just move away swiftly. Move away swift swiftly because the liquidity grab. But now that we form structure, we want to see a uh, we want to see premium pricing because that makes our trade a uh, higher probable. So that's my pre market analysis. Sells from here, buys from ideally below the fifty percent. Or if we get below here, we travel quite a distance though. But then I'm not even looking for buys. If we come too deep, I don't think think I don't think, I don't think. Sorry, I just like to do voices. I don't, I don't think we can like uh, get the, if we get here like around this area. As I said, well, we can check out the five minute. Hold up, let me see. But I think, yeah. So we got them quite nice little structure. If we get below this low. I don't think this will hold, and we will just crumble down. Take out the lows, 
get a relief rally and then because dollar is so weak I do believe that this red structure will hold and that we won't see a discount yet on this blue structure but I might be wrong I don't know anything about fundamentals and macro macro macroeconomics so still gotta dive into that get better with that but for now this is my analysis this is my pre-market analysis um and that's what i'm waiting for that's what i'm doing if i don't get that i don't need it yeah that's it oh this is oh that's good stop